Right, let's go straight into part 6 of this tutorial, which will be mainly a Dynamo Land stage, and then the rest of the Crystal stage, and shopping alternatives. Uh, right, so Dynamo Land stage, there are a couple of different ways of getting past this, uh, or through this first wall. Uh, in general, you want to use ice block, uh, ice wall. Uh, so the fast way of doing it, as far as I remember, is uh, basically just do the same thing as you do when you walk it. You just slide through it. You do a nice one and slide through it. It's very easy. I, I would always recommend it. Uh, I, I don't think it ever fails for me. I can't remember. Uh, another normal strat is to just jump up and use the ice wall. Uh, like that. Uh, on the blue on the blue part you just go through it uh, can be a little bit dangerous because you need to get out of there before it destroys the red platform so you fall into the spikes but you you still have your spike guard here so you can just do that it's fine here you have to jump through the blue part but that's also way easier for some reason I think it's because you're slightly higher compared to you. do that jump through the park here. Alright, uh, so that's the first screen. Here you want to quickly switch to uh, Wave Burner, which is four taps to the, to the right this time. So right, 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 right. <laughs> and then on the way down you can shoot the blue wall, jump up here and fire that guy. <laughs> fire him. Uh, if you want to be really fancy, uh, it's not that difficult. Uh, you can jump up here, and if you land on the corner, you can slide under this guy. He just goes straight down. That's the cool way. Yeah, so cool. Alright, uh, fire this guy and fire that part there. Uh, then you can, on the way down here, you can switch to Buster and start charging. Uh, when you jump over this guy, at the bigger jump, red let go of the charge, and then we'll kill that guy. I'm gonna make a better save here. Okay, place an ice wall here. This is where it gets interesting. So place an ice wall, push it, and start riding it. As soon as you hit the ground here, or as soon as the ice wall hit the ground, fire three bullets like really quickly. Uh, so you fire three bullets really quickly here. As soon as you get go through the part, the, the the blocks that were destroyed, you fire three more bullets. Uh, all you have to, you have to keep in mind that every time you get hit, you, you have to like hold forward a little bit to move up on the ice wall again. Otherwise, you will get knocked back. Uh, also, in the screen transition. Uh, for some reason, Mega Man and the Ice Wall travels at different speed through the screen transition. So you have to hold left to stay on the Ice Wall there after the screen transition. It's gonna get destroyed like almost immediately after the screen transition, anyways. Uh, but you can use this time to fire three more and destroy that, and then you can jump up here immediately. So, and jump up here. It's very easy. Then fire the next one here, and same thing. Here you don't have to do anything, just uh, tap left so that you're facing backwards. Uh, and then that will get you past this guy. Uh, here, right before the conveyor belt, because when you when you walk on the conveyor belt and start, and all kinds of bad things are going to happen. But just before you go onto the conveyor belt, uh, another ice wall and push it and start going. Uh, you can jump over that, you can try to shoot it, uh, the fire guys might block you. Uh, if you try to shoot it though, so you have to be ready for that. There. Anyways, just slide past here, jump up here. You're quite on low health now. Uh, if you're worried about that, oh, 
Um, so tap four times to switch back to fire and shoot these guys. Um, Want to aim for the head so it doesn't get away. If you're worried about low health here, uh, just a warning uh, or yeah, just a note: there is gonna be another uh, like health pickup in the way uh, in, in just a bit uh, past the miniboss. Uh, but if you're worried now and if you don't feel too confident about the clip past the miniboss, just go up here. Never mind, I'm stupid. That's a CD. There are no refills. Oh well. <laughs> Ignore what I'm saying. I was sure that was a health. Man, I, I don't know this game. Uh, Alright, so... If you're worried about your health here, too bad. Let's go up here, shoot this guy. Uh, you can make it onto that platform in the same motion. Just jump, jump. Oh! And now we're here. Yeah, don't worry about the health part. This clip is way easier than the Simon Says rooms I found, because there are no like platforms or anything in the way, and there's a very good visual cue. Uh, all right, so the visual cue here, I'm gonna try to explain before this guy kills me. Uh, you see this like gray, like vertical pillar in the background. It has this like green flashing things in the middle. So when Mega Man's hand covers that. And basically, when his when his the front of his head touches that, uh, that's a vision too. And here you can just like walk forward, stop briefly, and then you slide through. If you're really cool, you can don't let go forward at all. Uh, and in that case, the vision cues changes a little bit to a little bit earlier. Basically, when when Mega Man's head hits the green pillar, uh, the gray pillar in the background, or pillar or vertical. Stripe. Anyways, you pause that. Uh, go down here. As soon as you go down here, you start holding left. This is these are the dark rooms. Uh, I don't know the layout of these rooms anymore. I just know how to get through them. So I'm gonna try to explain as best as I can. But uh, you might wanna practice these rooms a little bit yourself and find your own way of doing it. But hold right. Jump up, there's a platform here. I think it's like two or three times. Oh, it's two tiles by platform. Oh, yeah, you can see the room there. Just slide and jump, and then you land here and you can slide into the next screen and then get, get killed by spikes. So, slide, yeah. Oh, wait, it's Forte that jumps. Sorry. <laughs> Man, I'm all over the place now. Slide, jump up there, and slide. You can walk into the screen as well. The big deal. So, jump up, slide, jump up, slide. And then jump, and then just fall down here. And you still hold left for a bit, but uh, in that third room, so slide, slide, jump, slide, and fall down. As soon as you start falling, you have to switch to holding right instead. Then we put you in this room, and here you hold right until you fall out here. And you can slide, and then hold left when you start falling from the slide to avoid those spikes. And you slide, and there's a ladder here. And that's the end of the dark rooms. So, one more time. Hold left, jump, slide, jump, slide, jump, just fall down here, hold left, hold right, slide, hold left again, slide, and then grab the ladder and go up. Uh, and you want to switch to Buster, probably here, at some point during the dark room, uh, and start charging. You have the energy balancer now, so it will automatically pick up and refill the lowest uh, weapon energy for you. You don't have to worry about that anymore. You just grab this health and go down here. As soon as you land, shoot those. You want to make sure you land, uh, otherwise uh, you might only hit the top ones and they will slow you down a little bit. So just make sure you're on the ground and then start sliding. So for this part, uh, for this first screen, before the screen transition, you want to take damage from the fire guys. Uh, you're, unless you play it extremely safe, you're gonna take damage from something, no matter what. Uh, so, and the fire guys does, I think, three get damage from contact, so it's not too bad. Uh, so you just shoot these, slide, and you get hit by fire guy, slide and jump over, slide get hit by the next fire guy, slide and jump over. And the next fire guy. You can jump over the last fire guy. Like uh, you, you still hold the charge here. 
So you can just shoot him and then just like you know, avoid him if you're really low on health. Uh, doesn't really matter <laughs> for me, anyways. Uh, just do whatever you feel like. Here you slide twice, jump up here. Uh, so you're gonna slide and in between these you do a full jump and just shoot here. Uh, maybe not a quite quite a full jump, but you jump up and shoot between those. Uh, high enough so that you don't uh, high enough so that you don't hit like these small guys. You will just eat your uh, charge buster. So just over them, and I will hit that guy. Uh, you should also slide immediately uh, after you do that. Uh, never mind, it won't hit that guy no matter what. I think I I, I will never do this. It's <laughs> too long. Alright, okay, you don't have to worry about sliding, just shoot that guy. Like that. And then shoot that guy. Uh, that guy is always gonna fire at you, so be sure to jump over his bullet. Uh, this guy will miss you most of the time. Jump over that guy's bullet, and then start sliding. Here, uh, you have a choice. You can try jumping over these, which is kind of tight as Rockman. Uh, you can also kill the top one, it makes it much easier to jump over. Uh, but that takes a while. Uh, you can also use damage boost through them, that is the fastest way. Uh, but they do quite a lot of damage. They do 4, I think, contact damage. Uh, and there's another one of these. So you, if you can take 8 damage, then fine, do that. Uh, otherwise, uh, like try to jump over them maybe. Or shoot, well, yeah, whichever you whichever you prefer. Uh, you can keep in mind also that we have counter attacker now, and the dynamo fight is uh, a lot easier with counter attacker active. I would say it's it's a little bit more dangerous, but it's also way shorter, so it's easier because of that. Uh, but yeah, yes, you can just shoot that, and then you can shoot this to avoid. Uh, if you damage boosted through this guy, uh, you can just slide through that guy. But then you will have you will have to deal with this one as well. Oop. And if you take too long on the query belt, they will start rolling really fast. Uh, when you jump up here, shoot at the peak of your jump and then slide. Uh, you don't have to do any more jumps after that. You will catch the conveyor belt no matter what. Make a little bit closer shape here. You slide down here. Alright, so now I'm at uh, critical. I'm gonna try getting here without being in critical health. Uh, just so I can show you what the fight looks like without. Because it, it as I said, it, it gets quite a bit longer. Because uh, uh, copy vision does 2 damage to him, normally, I think, uh, and it does 4 with counterattacker because counterattacker adds 2 damage flat to everything. So like, essentially you're doubling the length of the fight, or yeah, by not being in critical health. But it's way safer, so uh, whatever you want. And you're probably gonna get hit and get put into critical, like in the fight some somewhere, so it's fine. Anyways, let's start the fight. Uh, oh yeah, I would recommend, since we have quick charge, I would recommend starting on Buster. Because you can charge here, uh, he's gonna start attacking you, he, he does his little taunt. It's kind of weird, he's a he's unique boss because his health bar fills up first, and then he does his taunt. So as soon as he stops doing his taunt, you can let go of the charge Buster. Then you wait until he jumps, then you can just slide under him, because that will give you more time for the next charge. So you wait for a tall, wait for him to jump, slide and shoot there, and then jump over him twice and shoot there. Alright, so one more time, wait for his taunt, shoot him, wait for him to jump, slide, shoot him, jump over him, and shoot him. And then you hit L twice to switch to copy vision. No matter what, just take it easy, 
hit L twice, make sure you're on copy vision. Oh, see, I, sl I slid too early there, so you jump way too often. Uh, yeah, take your time, switch your copy vision, and then, uh, depending on what it does, just use copy vision on them. Uh, a small note about copy vision: it will, it will attract that all the AI is gonna focus on the copy vision first. Like every enemy, every bullet, everything is gonna focus on the copy vision until it's dead or it disappears, and then you. So you can just stand here and let it tag for you. Uh, basically, the only pattern where you have to turn around is this one because he'll jump over you an extra time. And then you just do this again, wait for him to attack, and then you place the copy vision. Uh, when he does this, you jump all the way up to the ceiling. So if you pick up your jump, you place the copy vision. That will destroy both the walls in one jump. Gotta spend some time on this fight explaining it because it's quite complicated. There's a lot of thing that, things that can happen in this fight. So here he didn't jump over me, so I can just place the copy vision right away. Then jump over him, wait for him to do something, and then place the next copy vision. Jump up here, destroy both walls. Uh, you can cancel the copy vision by pressing uh, left or uh, uh, L or R. So if I have a copy vision out that plus L or R, I'm immediately cancelling it. That also eats through my uh, weapon energy very quickly, so be careful. Shoot, fly down there, shoot, jump over, shoot. Wait for him to attack. Jump over, wait for him to attack. Close up, kill both walls with one copy vision, and then you place the next copy vision in his face, cancel it, and then wait for him to attack. Wait for him to attack. Oh, he went up again. Kill those as quickly as possible. Place, when he falls down from healing, just place a copy vision in his face. And then, it, it's probably gonna take some practice. Now let me show you what happens if you're on critical health in this fight instead. So I'm gonna take a hit there on purpose. So now we deal a lot more damage. So it's gonna probably heal after the very first attack. Yep. And now he's dead. So... Yeah, <laughs> that's the power of counter-attackers. But practice that fight... Uh, that, that's probably it's one of the trickier fights for sure. Uh, so if you want to know where to put your practice time, this is definitely one of those places. So I'm gonna go through it one more time uh, without stopping. First up, switch to Ice Wall, which is Ice Wall is always one left press from Buster. Slide through here, jump through here, R four times to switch to fire and fire that drill that thing on the way down. I tried to slide under and be cool, I failed. Don't worry. Switch to Buster and keep charging. Let go of Buster there at the peak of your jump. Fire when you land. Fire when you go through the thing. You destroy fire there to destroy this, and then you just face left here. Uh, I tried to destroy that, doesn't matter. Up here, four times again to switch back to fire. Go up here, uh, switch back to ice wall. Go. Initial Q, clip through, hold left, hold left and hold right, slide, hold left again, and grab the ladder out. 
Uh, start charging, grab the health on the way down. Uh, take damage from the fire guys on this screen. Slide over here, slide and jump, kill that guy, kill that guy. And now I'm on very high health, so I'm just gonna damage boost to these. And kill that guy on the way up. And we're at the boss. So, wanna start the boss with Buster. Wait for him to taunt. Like, wait for his taunt to be over. Let go, wait for him to jump, slide under, shoot, jump over him, shoot, switch to copy vision and just place it against him. Slide under, jump over, wait for him to attack. There's the next copy vision. Jump up quickly and destroy both walls with one. Place the next one in his face. Cancel it and place the next one depending on what it does. Slide under, jump over, place the next one after you start attacking, and you have. And that's the dynamo mine stage. Uh, I'm gonna cover in this part as well just uh, the remainder of the, the crystal stage. And if you want to go to the shop a second time, which I don't recommend because it just waits, it, it wastes a whole bunch of time. <coughs> Light Niggy Bolt. Uh, yeah. So, crystal stage. Last part, now it's just these two top ones. Uh, so, go over here. L twice, as you learned in the previous fight. Just shoot the thing with copy vision. Uh, okay, so an important note here is if you don't want to collect the bolts, if you don't intend to go to the shop a second time, you still have to wait until the, uh, the box is completely destroyed before you go out. Oh man. Well, that's embarrassing. Alright, let's just do this fight one more time, quite very quickly. Alright, sorry, I'm gonna make a better save this time. As I was saying, uh, yeah, you, it's it's very possible, it's very easy to accidentally go out from the crystal room before the crystal is destroyed completely, or before the game considers it destroyed. Uh, and in that case, you'll just have to go back and destroy it again. Uh, which obviously wastes time, so... Crystal stage. So okay, go over here, let's go. So if I just go out here, you can see it wasn't destroyed. Even if I like hear the sound and go out, uh, it sometimes doesn't work. But I'm gonna try and do it. See, uh, it looked like it was destroyed there, but it wasn't. But you have to wait until it's destroyed before you start your teleport out of the room. Uh, another good cue to know if you like got it or not, if, if you hear the spawning sound from the vault, you know you got it. Uh, and then just go over here, lightning, you can mash right away, destroys all of them, and just slide back and forth. And you're done. Alright. Uh, So if you're gonna go to the shop again, shop is always just one down from the crystal stage. Uh, I would recommend buying extra lives if you died uh, multiple times in Astro and Dynamo Man stage uh, for the king stages. And that's it. Next part will be King 1. It's probably gonna take the whole video, but stay tuned for more.